Very recently, I was asked to be a judge at very prestigious hospitality awards here in Ireland. And to be honest, I was honored to be part of a panel of experts that were judging the sustainability and environmental category. But one thing I realized out of this job was that uh, award applications, let's say, are not everyone's forte. About 90% of the applications we received were well below average. And thankfully, in this particular um, award ceremony, we got to shortlist a lot of the applications and actually meet the person face to face. To be totally honest, I went into the interviews a little bit apprehensive and not expecting much because I had read the written applications and I was baffled to find out that every person we met had done a lot more regarding sustainability than what had been stated on their applications. So what is it about us people that we can't build ourselves up when we're talking about what we have done? That's exactly what award applications are for, to build yourself up and not to just play it down and try and play it safe. So here are some quick tips on how you can put an award application together um, and actually have a chance to win it. The very first thing is to make sure that the first person filling the application is the right person. Um, if the award is for yourself or for a department that you run, fill the application yourself. The second thing is to ensure that you or whoever is filling the application puts enough time to do it. This is not just, you know, a quick um, part of your to-do list, done, check, move on to the next thing. If you're serious about entering and winning these awards, you need to really dedicate time to the application. The third tip is read the application properly and answer the questions you've been asked. Specifically, if you're asked questions that might um, seem very similar, which is it's very often the case um, during an award application process. Answer specifically what they have asked you and then give them some extra. Even if it's something that may not necessarily have to do with what they're asking you, give it to them at the end. Be factual is your next tip. And this is especially when we talk about green award applications. Um, when you talk about sustainability and the things you have done to apply sustainability to your business, um, unless you give actual numbers and figures, it really is just words. It is very impressive when you receive an award application and in the application itself, they tell you what percentage of energy they use per customer, what, per what is their landfill waste kilograms per customer, and also to tell you what the reductions have been in percentages over the last number of months. Yet, very few award applications contain data like that. To me, if, when I'm judging any other green awards, um, the data and the figures and the benchmarking, it's really what has the basis to win, um, to be, to be the, the chosen um, winner for that award. Something else you need to look um, after is to make sure you're there to the uh, number of characters that they allow you. Some awards applications are easy enough in the sense that they don't give you a limit, but if there is a limit on the words or the characters you can use, make sure you're there to that limit. And lastly, be bold, be informative, be brave. As I say before, answer the questions and then give them some more. Don't just downplay it, don't play it safe. Say to them everything you have done that you're proud of or everything you have done that has actually made your business more sustainable. I personally love awards. Um, you could say I'm an awards addict. Um, I've entered them for years for myself or for businesses that I was working in and now I enter awards and help my clients enter awards. They're a great way to get the recognition you deserve for all the efforts that you have made in the past year. If you want to read more about these blog posts and look into further tips to fill in your green award applications, head over to my website 50shadesgreener.ie and click on this blog post. See you next week.